Hassan Sharif is Egyptian and gay. His name has been changed and his face hidden to protect his identity, as he and his live-in partner worry they could be targeted by police. We live in fear now. At any moment, police could storm our house and arrest us. We no longer have peace of mind in places where we can meet other people, like in cafes or at parties, because the police could carry out raids. On the 7th of December, police arrested 26 men in a raid on a public bathhouse. Egyptian law doesn't expressly ban homosexuality, but gays are frequently charged with debauchery in a Muslim society that's deeply conservative. Abba Shoman is a prominent Muslim scholar and defends the state's involvement. If the government and the president do not prohibit such immorality, what is their function? It's a view echoed by the wider population. A study by the Pew Research Center based in the US found that only 3% of Egyptians accept homosexuality. Writer and lesbian Boutena Halim is one of the few. It's not something that concerns other people. It's at the core of a person. How we feel, how we see ourselves and how we see others. How we love and desire. This is oppression against people. Since November, 150 suspected gays have been arrested for debauchery or prostitution. Activists warn it's an ominous sign for homosexuals of hard times to come.